Recessions generally, uh, look, every economic expansion creates the seeds for the next recession. Every recession sows the seeds for the next economic recovery. If you're a student of economic and market history, recessions last about a year and the market goes down 25%. Economic expansions usually cause an overheating, which causes rates to go up, which causes a recession. And, yeah, well, and we, those are garden variety. This is totally different. Rates well, are, we, it, this it'll is ultimately not ultimately happen, but it's not happening now, which is a good it's thing. It's a totally different way, though. And I don't, know, I don't know whether that makes it it'll deeper. Or, or, You've seen or, the General Motors strike. You haven't seen that labor right. strike for quite some time. Uh, I think there are two things to watch carefully, okay? One is Iran. A war with Iran would spike the price of oil, which would be very negative. We never talked about that, Okay, yeah. the second thing to watch is China. If the president resorts to putting on another round of tariffs, that probably increased the probability of recession. And if we have a recession, the market drops at least 25%. If Elizabeth Warren is elected president, in my opinion, the uh, market drops 25%. Bernie Sanders, same thing. You know, in my view, because as I listened to the debate last night, I kept on thinking of a great statesman by the name of Winston Churchill, who said, you don't make poor people rich by making rich people poor. <laughs> he said the main vice of capitalism is the uneven distribution of prosperity. The main vice of socialism is the equal distribution of misery. What is their problem with billionaires? All the billionaires that I know are self-made and give back more to the system than they give on themselves. Okay. Bernie Marcus was a depressed dude when he got fired Christmas week. A different Bernie. Yep. Uh, different Bernie Marcus Bernie. Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, the Bernie Marcus of Home Depot. Depot. Right. Okay, he got fired right in Christmas week. He was very depressed. He called up Ken Langone to express his depression. Ken, who's one of the great people in the country, in my opinion, okay, says, what the hell are you depressed about? I'll go out and raise you some money and you'll pursue your dream. Okay? And his dream was superstores in the hardware. He says, I'm a hardware. I run a hardware store. Right. Okay. Today, Home Depot's got a $258 billion market cap. They employ 40,000 people. Right. They have thousands of associates that are millionaires. Okay. And Bernie has given back a fortune to the economy, starting with the Atlantic Aquarium, $250 million. Right. That's Ken a, that's Langone is a too. legendary philanthropist. We did the show from there. It was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ken Fen Langone, I think he's, I, I can't count his money, giving maybe $350 million to NYU. Most recently, he led the initiative to provide free medical tuition for the lucky students that get into NYU. Uh -huh. Then you look at Bill Gates, what he's done. Look at Mike Bloomberg, what he's done. I recently interviewed David Rubenstein. I, I turned the table on him at New Jersey Before yes. God Sense, where I do a distinguished speaker series. You know, Rubenstein's the old man was a post office worker, started with nothing, and he, his patriotic philanthropy is legendary. Okay? So this idea of attacking billionaires is bull. Totally bull. What they should do, we, what we have to do as a nation is coalesce around the question, what should the maximum tax rate be on wealthy people? Okay? You can get your message out more if you finish the term bull. Because uh, the more people I, I will pick it up, and then black, but they'll get you. No, we won't. Not on cable. Not on cable. You can say it. You want me to say it? Bullshit too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's up to you. I'm, 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 no, I said I, the I'm dog. A, I'm, I'm a guest here. I know how to I'm do it. I'm a guest it. in your home. I conduct myself. But basically, so Zell, we have he, to he agree nuts. upon what the max in tax rate should be on wealthy people. I believe in the progressive income tax structure. I believe rich people should pay more. Okay. I have no problem with that. This wealth tax is baloney.